welcome back. Two days in a row. Wow, I am getting there again, maybe. <laughs> anyway, um, let me show you. Let's see. Today, we are going to be doing um, this accordion pouch. Um, I actually seen, I can't give credit to just one person because I've seen several different people do it. Um, Wendy's Journal Adventures, Treasured Books, Roxy Creations. There were several more that um, were involved in it. Um, so rather than just saying I got the idea or inspiration from one person, these were the three that I watched mostly. Um, so let me show you what it is. And get this out of the way okay so what we're going to do is I'm just taking some of my scrap paper that they're not full sheets or they may be um, you know I just don't I'm not gonna use them and I'm making these cute little accordion envelopes um, and these can be either just free floating in your journal mm, let me grab a journal this is my traveler's notebook, so it's not my junk journal, but you'll still get the idea. So you could take and just put, stick this in here like with a paper clip and just leave it just like that and take it out as you need it. Or you can actually take and glue this down on three sides and then you would have like a pocket. Um, let me grab my little thing here. So I could glue it down on three sides. I could have a pocket back here that I could put a tag in, and then I could open it and get to like little ephemera or something like that. Now, I would not put that in this journal because this is like my planner planner. Um, I would put this in my junk journal. Um, now, you can make some in a different design um, that would be for planner, scrapbooks, what have you. But I just really like the grungy look ones um, for my junk journal. So that's what we are going to focus on today. And then here's another one that I've done. This was out of a piece of um, scrapbook paper that, for whatever reason, like the, hat, the top of it was torn. And so um, I just made it into one of these little pouches. And so you can make these in several different, you know, many sizes. It all depends on your paper. So let's go ahead and we'll, the first one we'll do with regular notebook paper. Or not, I say notebook paper, it's coffee dyed paper. So what you want to do is you want to take and you want to fold it not quite in thirds because you want one side of your fold to be a little bit longer and you will see why in just a minute. Okay, so let's fold that over. And so see, we have a little bit of um, this part right here sticking out. And that's exactly what we want. And I will show you why very shortly. So now I just need to figure out what I want to be my top. And I think I want this piece right here to be my top. So I am just going to take and fold this over. And this is how long I want my flap to be. Okay. So now once you get that folded over, now let me give you a visual. We are going to cut off this part here and this part here. And so then that will leave, this will be the flap to our little accordion folio. So I'm just going to try to cut this straight. This is my issue is trying to get something cut straight. Okay. Now I'm going to try something. Um, I have not done this yet and I but I just got an idea that I want to try because if you'll notice on this one what I done was I took one of the pieces that I had cut off and I just glued it on the back so that it would reinforce that. So I'm wondering here is rather than cutting this completely off, if I fold it over and glue it down and then cut that excess off. 
Let's try that. I think that's going to work. I hope it works because that would be ideal. And then I would know that it was all lined up properly as well. So, you know, you never know until you try something and I'm always willing to try something different. I think that's going to work except I got my I got glue on the other side here so why not just wipe it on my hands <laughs> and I'm gonna go ahead and cut that off while we're already right here okay so now that's done and I like that so now the next thing that you need to do is you have your paper and it looks like this. So now what you do is you take this side here and you fold it in half on itself, just like that. And you try to line it up as good as you possibly can, but if you're anything like me, it's not gonna be lined up. And then you take this side and you fold it in on itself as well. Now, remember how I said the one side is going, you needed one side a little bit longer? Well, if you notice now, when I fold these together, you'll see that this one here is just slightly, let me see if you can see it. See how it's just slightly on this side, the other side because that was the longer side. And the reason for that is that's what's going to hold our little pocket together. So you just put a little tiny string of glue right there on that fold, or as close to that fold as you can possibly get, because we don't want to glue our pocket shut, but we want to glue this down. So then we're just going to take and glue that down, just like that. And I need to find a tissue because I've been making a mess with my glue as always. And I am turning you guys, I can see that. Okay, let me set this down and I'm just going to wipe that. It's a wet wipe and I probably need something dry but it's better than nothing. All right, so I'm making sure that it's open and it is. Now, the next thing that you want to do is just simply take and fold this up to where it is even with the other part there that you cut. And when you're doing that, just make sure, open it up and make sure there's no ripple or bubble in here. Um, sometimes it'll happen. It doesn't happen all the time, but it, it can happen. Okay. So now I have this. As you can see, we have, well, my goodness, I'm gluing it on itself already. Okay. So we have it like this. And we have this open side. Both of these sides are open. So what we're going to do is now we're going to glue right here and right here. Just a thin bead of glue is all you need. Okay. And then we need to make sure we are not gluing layers together that we don't want to glue together. So when you open it, you want to make sure that you have three pockets, one, two, and three. And there you go. And then we can take our chomper chomper, and you can round the corners here if you want to. You can do them, you know, in a tag shape. You can leave them just like they are. It doesn't matter. And there is our little accordion style folio. I mean, you see how quick and easy this is. 
this would be cute to um, put some ephemera in and just make sure as your glue is drying just go back through and see how mine's kind of trying to stick because I put so much glue on it but this would be cute to put little pieces of ephemera in anything like that you can ink it up you can stamp on it you can add stickers to it you can embellish it whichever way you want to embellish it so now let's make one <clears throat> excuse me see I have these pieces of scrapbook paper and I don't know how they'll do because they are so odd size but you know what like I said we won't know unless we try and I'm game to try it so I'm just gonna cut it to where it is you know halfway straight and the same thing I want to fold it but I want to fold it to where it's not going to be exactly in thirds let's see if that works okay so I'm just going to do that down and now because I'm just trying to look and see Okay, so I want it to be this way so that whenever I pull the flap down, the writing will be the correct way. So I am not going to have quite as big of a flap on this one simply because the paper is so short and I won't have much of a pocket. Okay, so now let's see. All right, I'm gonna cut this side off here. Okay, let me try and get this halfway straight. Uh, and then on this one, I'm gonna do just like I did on the last one. I am just going to cut it right here. And then I'm gonna fold it onto itself because I think that worked pretty good. If I say so myself, I think it did. Okay. Oops, I'm twisting it as I'm rolling it. That's not good. Okay, so now let me cut that little extra spot or piece off right there all right so the same thing we need to fold it in half on itself just like that and then we're going to turn it over and do this side the same way fold it in half on itself okay now this one I have a little bit more of an um, overlap, but that's fine, as you can see. But we're still going to do the same thing. We're just going to glue this um, right here along this little fold. Just like that. And then, um, of course, you know me, I've got to get my hands all in it and get good and sticky. And, you know, it wouldn't be a video of mine if I didn't. And I'm just wiping off the excess glue. I do have a glue eraser, but, you know, that means actually having to get up and get it. And I'm being lazy. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So let's make sure that I have not completely glued it shut and it doesn't look like I have which is always a good thing and so now we're gonna fold this up to right there 
make sure you don't get any bubbles, if at all possible. Okay. And now we're just going to take and glue these sides down. And glue this side down. And close it. Super simple, super easy. This is another great mass make when you need to get some ephemera done and uh, need it done in a hurry and you know need to be able to use up some of your um, scraps and that kind of stuff this is a great 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 way to do that and I'm just separating my folds there from where I have glued them on each other all right, so we have one pocket, two pockets, three pockets. So there's our three pockets. And I will round my corners. And there you go. And so again, you can um, ink this up. You can put some stickers on it. You can put some labels on it. Um, anything at all like that you can do that now or you can just stick it into your ephemera stash and save it save the decorating for whenever you go to put it into a journal and that way you would know um, how you want to decorate it so let's see i have some more papers um you know what let's see what this does for kicks and giggles let's see how it will do with a full 12 by 12. I have no idea. But like I said, we will never know unless we try it. So let's try it. I'm always willing to try it. Let's make sure I got some, mm, barely. <laughs> Not quite enough to make me happy so I am going to go back and I'm going to fold this just a little bit shorter than what I did because we really need that little piece to fold over okay let's try it this way now much better much much better Okay, so again, I need to take a look at this. So I need this to be the top. Yep. Okay, so this is going to be my top. So let's just fold it over. Okay. And what's my long side? This is my long side, so I'm going to cut this side off. Wait, I gotta figure out where the actual, <laughs> the true fold is since I decided to do that little stunt and fold it to where it wasn't short enough. Okay, there we go. Set that to the side. And now again on this one, we're just going to Cut it and we're just going to fold it over that seems to work so and I'm all about you know I don't it's not that I cut corners but if I can do something to get the result that I need and take less steps and be more efficient I'm all about doing that and that's what this does right here because I end up with the same final product that I don't have to cut it off and then try to line it up. So I am good with that. Now we'll cut this little piece right here off. I'm going to have to clean my scissors when I get done because I am cutting stuff while it's still wet with glue. All right, and again, remember, fold this over onto itself. 
and get it as straight as you possibly can. And we'll turn this one over and do the same thing, trying to get it as straight as we can. And we got a good little spot to be able to glue. Let me do this to make sure I got my folds good. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do another little thin strip of glue right here. Okay. And now that I have that, I will close that. Like I said, I'm not sure how this is going to work with it being a full 12 by 12, but you know, I told you guys before, I will not try and make you think that everything I do works out. And, you know, <clears throat> only one way to find out, and that's actually try it. All right, so now let's fold this up. Right about there. going to work. You would just not be able to put little stuff, but you could put like um, tags and stuff down in here. So that would be good. Okay. So now let's close that. And hopefully I have not glued everything shut that I didn't want to glue shut. Around those corners. All right, now let's see if we have three. So we have one, and then I did glue these together, but it's okay. We can fix it because we're still in that little time frame there where it's drying. So there we go. We have three. Look at that. That one's actually pretty cute. Oh, and look, how cute is that? That worked out perfect. Wow. And I mean, you could cut um, a thumb knot, like notch in that first one if you wanted to, but I don't see any reason to. But you can put some tags down in there, you know, bigger pieces like, um, journal cards or something like that, something that you wouldn't have, I mean, but you could get down, especially the front pocket, you could easily get all the way down into that. So, yeah. Okay, let's see, do we have time for one more maybe? Let's do one more. What do I have? Let's do another one with regular paper. This is some that has been blue ink dyed or coffee dyed with blue ink or something. I don't know. But we're going to use that. Again, I'm going to just fold it. And then let's see how good I've done. I've done good. Yes. Yes. Happy, happy. And then. I guess it doesn't matter on this what I want to be the top because it looks to be all about the same. And so now just fold it to where we want the flap. And then I'm taking and cutting the short side off. Are attempting to cut the short side off and then this longer side I am just cutting here just like that I'm going to glue it down fold it over onto itself Excess off right there. 
you don't have to do this part of it. It just, um, to me, I think it gives it a little bit more stability because it is such thin paper that I'm using. So that's why I like to do that. And then I'm just gonna fold this over on itself there like that. And then do the same thing right here. Okay. And I did not fold that, that one right there good. Did y'all see that? Ugh. It was majorly off. Okay. Now that I finally got that done. I am just going to put some glue right there. I'm going to glue that down. And I always get glue everywhere. Oh my goodness. I am the world's worst when it comes to glue. And make sure that my inside is still open. And it is. So now we're just going to fold this up. Just like that. Get all that glue off of there. And then we will just glue this down on these sides right here. And we know that I've got to go in and try and get them unstuck because we all know that I have glued everything together probably. And I'm just going to round the corners here. All right, so we should have three pockets. We have one. Ugh, we have two. And then we have three once I get it unstuck. And if you glue better than I do, you won't have to do this little extra part right here. But because I don't half know how to glue, that's why I have to do this. Okay. So now we have our three pockets. One, two, and three. So guys, let me know what you thought about this video. Give me a thumbs up. You know, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate it. You watching the videos help me out tremendously. So there we go, guys. Super easy, simple um, accordion envelopes made out of scraps of any size. Um, great to put into your mass make ephemera pile. And there you go. So thanks so much for watching guys and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.